Janana's here. Is she gonna get physical with the lawn treatment and pull it out of the dumpster? Let's take a look by going through her kits, advancements, and matrices, and then team comps and comparisons. Janona comes with Universal Resonance, which increases final damage by 15% when equipping two weapons of the same element besides physical. This stacks with any other resonance, allowing other team comps to become even stronger. A large amount of Janona's damage comes from her passive Octal Whip, which deals damage around your locked target once per second as long as you have Octo Whip stacks. You start with 15 when entering combat, and can gain more when discharge skills hit. Other physical weapons have a very low hit rate on their skills, making them not that ideal at recharging Octo Whips. However, Fiona's discharge generates a fair amount of them, and Janana's will add the max amount. As such, it's important to prioritize Janona's discharge to make sure the passive damage is constantly rolling. In addition to the raw damage that the Octo Whips deal, they apply a treasure tracer to enemies hit stacking up to 3. These tracers are consumed upon hitting with any physical damage other than the Octo Whips, dealing additional damage. As such, the passive damage of Octo Whips is more beneficial to teams with constant physical damage, and rainbow teams may not be able to take full advantage of the bonus treasure tracer damage. Janono's skill causes her to start spitting, dealing damage over time, and then more damage when you release the skill. The damage from releasing increases if released after a short delay, when two mini scrapes appear. However, in typical rotations, it is better to just instantly release the skill than hold it, unless you are using Janono's trait, which increases final damage by 23% when you use the 2 squid attack. It is discouraged to hold her skill for damage, as the charge from doing this is minimal compared to her normal skills. After releasing the skill, the tentacles will attack twice as fast for 12 seconds. Janono's basic attacks are actually very mediocre, around on par with Lyra main DPS without Claudia matrices. However, despite this, she is typically used on field. We'll dive into this more in the rotation section. Her highest DPS comes from her hold attacks, which also apply the grievous effect on hit, allowing her to keep it up 100% of the time with ease. While her other attacks aren't too noteworthy, her back dodge has some utility in a slow debuff, but note this effect has a 10 second cooldown. This pretty much covers her basic kit. Now let's dive into her advancements. Janono's advancements provide generic value for most teams except the Rainbow Lawn team, which we'll go over later. As this team is an exception, I'll detail the expected value in both Standard teams as well as the Lawn team. Janono's A1 increases the shatter of her hold skills by 80% and grants a shield equal to 50% of your HP when using these skills. The shield lasts for 8 seconds, and can be refreshed with a 5 second cooldown, granting a huge amount of durability. Still, this advancement does nothing for raw damage. Her A3 increases the Octo Whip cap from 30 to 45, and grants a physical damage boost for 30 seconds when using her discharge. This physical damage boost is a unique multiplier, separate from matrices. The increased Octo Whip cap, while nice on paper, doesn't really do anything for any comp besides the lawn comp, as other comps have no problem maintaining Octo Whip. 
Next is our A5, which makes detonating treasure tracers refresh Grievous, and additionally increases physical damage by 10% to targets under 80% health. These effects work in the offhand, allowing you to maintain Grievous even easier. Finally, her A6 increases the damage of treasure tracers significantly. This improves her passive damage by a good margin, but benefits teams that on-field a physical weapon often more. In the lawn team, the tracers are being added way too fast to actually be used efficiently. All in all, her advancements are worth a fair amount, but aren't too OP. Next, let's take a look at her matrices. Jinono's Matrix offers decent elemental damage buffs with minimal conditions, with all the effects working in the background. The two-piece increases all elemental damage when at least one physical weapon is equipped. The four-piece effect increases all elemental damage for 25 seconds when using any physical skill or discharge, while also reducing the endurance consumption with Mini Hurricane by 40%. Note that this endurance consumption reduction, while nice, is not necessary in most cases, as with the typical rotation, you can go at least 2-2.5 two to two and a half minutes of non-stop combat without running out of endurance, and even when you do run out, you don't lose that much damage. Jinono's Matrix is powerful, but keep in mind that it stacks additively with Lyra's Matrix. The alternative option in a meta team would be Umi's Matrix, but that stacks additively with Fiona's Matrix. When compared side by side, the options are very close to each other, to a point where if you already have Umi matrices, you don't really need to bother with Jinono's matrices. Because of how physical teams fixate on camping on one character with Maelstrom for a long duration, on-field matrices are really important. So if you don't have Lyra matrices, the classic Samir and Shiro combination is still a very powerful option. Janana is fairly versatile and can almost be seen as a physical lawn in terms of the amount of off-field damage she provides. As such, she can fit into a good amount of teams. We'll go over each of them. Do note that in the test server, there was some bug with Jinano's charging for Umi, so Umi main DPS couldn't be tested properly there. However, according to my calculations, using Umi main DPS over Jinano has potential to be stronger, so we'll have to keep our eyes on the performance of that comp when it hits live. First off is the standard physical team. This consists of Jinono, Umi, and Fiona. We use Hydro Focus and Maelstrom here, and Jinono as the main DPS. If you don't have Umi A3+, Claudia can fit in her slot as well, and the rotation plays literally the exact same. However, a triple physical comp just does not work, as the rotation is extremely scuffed. Due to how both skills on other physical weapons instantly gain charge, versus Fiona's pro skill you can cast without gaining a new discharge, you won't be able to properly rotate to both Umi and Claudia without burning both discharge meters generated by Jinono, leading you to quickly run out of Octo Whip. If you play with Umi main DPS, the comp doesn't work much better than the old Lyra Umi comp from pre Fiona days. Start out with Fiona's base skill, quickly swapping into Umi right after and starting a magic shell. Discharge into Jinono, pop Maelstrom, use your skill, and hold attack. After 18 seconds, 
discharge into Fiona and repeat the rotation. Yeah, that's about it. Note that while I started at near full energy for this example course, you can still follow the same rotation, but you would just want to swap off Janana as soon as you hit two charge bars to get your Octolips back up. Also note that Maelstrom does not line up with this rotation. As such, let's say the first rotation you get the full 18 seconds in. We do 18 seconds as Umi buff and Hydro Focus drop off by then. The next rotation, due to Maelstrom's cooldown being longer than the rotation itself, you will still use Maelstrom despite it being a little late, and want to swap off 12 seconds after using it. On the third rotation, Maelstrom will have too long of a cooldown, so you skip it and should swap out immediately after hitting two full charge bars. Yes, it's a bit awkward, but funnily enough, this scuffed Maelstrom usage is the most optimal. Next, let's look at an altered Janano team. The strength of this team is that it double dips on both Janano's special universal resonance and also altered resonance. Here, we'll use Hydro Focus and Torrential Force. This team plays mostly similar to the standard physical team, except you will alternate between discharging to Lin and Janona to make sure you keep Janona's A3 up. In teams without Lin A6, use Maelstrom instead of Torrential Force using the rotation similar to the standard comp. Start out with Fiona's skill, then swap into Lin and drop your Moonlight Realms and use Torrential Force. Swap into Janana, use her skill and DPS until hitting two full charge bars, at which point you discharge into Fiona, use her skill, then discharge to Lin and use hers. The rotation repeats from here, but make sure to skip the Lin Discharge and go into Janono Discharge every other rotation, immediately going into Lin afterwards to prevent overcapping of Lin Fiocs. Now it's time for the funny team comp, the Rainbow Lawn team. Unlike the previous team, this team has no elemental resonance and is in balance resonance. We use Hydro Focus and Torrential Force in here. The synergy in this team works out quite well, giving it great strength despite the strange combination of characters. Octo Whips count as ammo, so Mons A1 makes you consume them 4 times faster for 4 times more damage. As such, the goal of this team is to quick swap and spam Janono's Discharge as much as possible to maintain the massively boosted Octowhip DPS. Open with Fiona's skill, straight into Janono's discharge and skill. Go for a quick hold attack to put on Grievous, then swap to Lon, use her skill, and swap to Fiona to use basic attacks to finish charging, then swap back into Janono. From here on out, no cooldowns ever line up properly to have a solid rotation, but the concept is simple. Charge for a little bit on Janono, then before you hit full charge, swap to either of the other weapons and use the skill and autos to full charge. Though, if you swap into Lawn, use Fiona's autos instead as they charge faster. It's numbers time, but first, 
It's disclaimer time! Remember to take theory crafting with a grain of salt, because it's just that. Theory. Things aren't guaranteed to be perfect, but it'll give us a good idea of where things stand. Remember that Umi main DPS comps could not be properly verified, so they are excluded from these comparisons. The various Janana comps all come fairly close with each other, as well as other comps. While Physical's resistance reduction is very mediocre, Janano's ease of applying permanent grievous puts Physical in line with other comps. The standard comp with Umi is the strongest, but the alternatives come fairly close. Do note that the lawn comp, being balanced resonance, will be relatively lower in group content because of it. It's surprising how close these theoreticals come out for all the max comps. Let's hope they don't pull another vendor situation with Rubilia. At a Dolphin investment level, with A6 units and one A3 standard matrix main DPS set, or a 0 star Claudia set, if applicable, the comps are still fairly balanced. The lawn comp falls off of it compared to other teams, as it relies on strong off-field limited matrices to really make the damage shine. In FTV teams with A1 units and 0 star standard matrices only, Janono comes out fairly strong, though Umi is completely unusable at this investment level. While the altered Janono team pulls ahead, Claudia will be entering standard with this update, so it should be easy for even FTVs to obtain more advancements for her. Janano has brought physical back in line with other comps, concluding the cycle of characters with surprisingly close numbers. She works in a variety of different teams and offers a lot of power to them, and also supports their team through permanent Grievous. Note that with the 2.5 update, we have Grievous 2.0, which grants an additional 20% debuff for physical only in team play, so it makes sense that the single player numbers are now balanced around Grievous. This concludes my analysis on Janona. Before we go, though, I wanted to shout out the new members. Thank you to Lucky SGI, Tosaka Rin, Wiki, D Raiden, Heart, T Shanon, Nozu, and Hyper Optical Saint. Your support helps me keep working on better content. I'll see you all next time!